Hello Scorpio and welcome to your tarot forecast for June 16th through 30th 2022. We are going to look at the positive that's coming your way and happening for you guys the second half of June because we have the grand alignment taking place okay of all the planets you will be able to see it in the pre-dawn sky um, moving through the second half of June and it will be um, as perfect in alignment as it can be on the 24th of June. I actually made a post about this on my community tab, so check it out if you're interested in that, but it's time for alignment, Scorpio. So let's see what jumped out as I began to talk about things aligning. Oh my gosh, look at that. Manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you want and what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation step one. All right, Scorpio, something is manifesting the second half of June for you. There is a beautiful alignment taking place. Some of you, this is already in motion. And um, for others of you, take the advice of this card. You know, as soon as you're done with this reading in your notebook or on a piece of paper or in your computer or a voice note in your phone, whatever, write, write down what it is that you really want to manifest in your life within the next two weeks, within the next 30 days, all right? And just be so free in the imagining of it as you write it or you speak it, okay? And, you know, all of you do that. Just do it, Scorpio, because something is manifesting here for you guys. Something is coming into beautiful alignment and uh, jotting down your own little desires and wishes to tweak it. Nothing wrong with that. It will only make it that much sweeter. So let's pull some more cards and go deeper. Double rainbow with good news. Hey. And mountaintop spiritual enlightenment. Oh, Scorpio, what a beautiful, beautiful message coming through for you guys. Okay, um, this manifestation, this alignment is going to feel very spiritual to you. And as things unfold, it's actually going to ignite you. It's going to expand your consciousness, okay? Because you've definitely experienced the negative side of something here, and now you're coming to the positive side of it. And, and through that full circle, it's like your consciousness expands. And with double rainbow and good news, there's like two really good things that are going to happen for Scorpio the second half of June. So let's pull some tarot and go deeper into this message. Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, see, I knew there was something heavy that happened. And uh, High Priestess. All right, Scorpio. It is time for you to get your healing. It is time for the rainbow after the storm. That is so symbolic because here it is, the first card out, the Four of Swords. That is all about healing, regeneration, renewal, um, collecting yourself, rebalancing yourself. And from what? A Ten of Swords experience that you've been stuck in and dealing with for a long time and it's wearing you down mentally, emotionally, maybe physically, maybe even with your resources, okay, but your inner strength right there through the High Priestess. 
there's some part of you that's been like, you know, this too shall pass. This is part of the process. I will get through this. Things will get better. Things will be okay. That's what you've been telling yourself, okay? Your spirit has been pulsating that information. And that's why I'm also seeing that spiritual enlightenment because you're coming to the other side of all of this and you've gained so much wisdom and understanding, expansion, growth, you name it, that when the good starts happening, you're going to become very aware of how much you have learned from this experience and you've got a blessing at times too. And I feel like your reading for uh, the month of June was... Uh, blessings come in threes. I believe that was yours. And here we are talking about the second half of June and that good news, which is coming true. Blessings. Whoa. Look at, yeah, these cards just want to keep jumping out. Scorpio, you were wronged. Somehow, some way, you were wronged badly. And you've had to do a lot of work to push through it, to keep going, to maybe even rebuild yourself, some of you. And it's like you've been climbing the mountain and you're finally reaching the mountaintop. And through this whole climb, it's been raining and storming, lightning, thunder, the wind blowing all which way. And now the storm has passed and the rainbows and you've got two. Harrowfant. Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, The Emperor. Okay. Yeah. Wow, Scorpio. I am sorry. You know, I know we all go through just heavy, hard experiences in life. It's just part of life, but I never like to see it in readings uh, because I'm really feeling this for you guys and it's you've been in a space of like I just can't even win for trying what's the point it's always gonna be like this like you really feel like you've been spinning your wheels trying to understand circumstances trying to move beyond them trying to change them you feel like you have tried and done everything to better your situation, to heal and mend yourself, whatever the case may be. And no matter what, you're like, oh, I'm just sitting here. Remember, Scorpio, you've been on a journey climbing this mountain and it's been storming and it's been windy and it's been hard, like what's depicted here. And that's not an easy feat, okay? And now the second half of June, the way things are starting to shift is you are reaching the top of that mountain. So now you can come into a place of rest, renewal, uh, serenity, and you're going to have an understanding. You're going to see things from a much different perspective atop the mountain opposed to when you were climbing it through the storm because atop the mountain it's crystal clear all you see is two beautiful rainbows in the sky before you it's a much different experience and you deserve this and it's going to be very very spiritual the way this all unfolds like you're just going to feel it in your soul and you're going to move out of feeling like you need to defend yourself against the world. You've got to constantly walk your back there. Watch your back. There's never enough. I just, you know, a lot of heavy emotions flowing through you. You are transforming into the emperor energy from this journey that you've been on up this mountain. All right, let's pull some more tarot. Queen of Wands, the Magician, there's that Ten of Swords again, yeah, you've really gone through, you've gone through two heavy heartaches, that's why you get two rainbows, two blessings there, four of uh, Pentacles, 
And look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. This would be next. Okay. Yeah, Scorpio, you have, oh, look at what's on the bottom. Ace of Cups as well. You have really been going through it. And Spirit is acknowledging that big time. And if you're a Scorpio who hasn't been going through the Ten of Swords, um, you know, the last few days, the last few weeks, last few months, maybe some of you the last few years, then I do not think this reading is going to resonate for you or is intended for you specifically because this is such a strong message of, yes, you have gone through hell and back and it's been a struggle and you've done anything and everything you could to survive. You've been very resourceful. You've grown so strong and so wise, so humbled through this journey and this experience of climbing the mountain through the storm and that is just like the metaphor for uh, what you've been going through and that's not easy like not everybody could uh, manage that and I feel that at every turn a lot of people were like no Scorpio I can't help you or I don't want to hear about your problems like you're just feeling very left out in the cold on your own and that was part of this experience because you, as you reach the top of this mountain, you are going to have an entirely new sense of self-worth, value, and not just for yourself, but for life and the experiences for your soul and the way that life teaches us and grows us. Like, it's just your, your whole perspective is going to shift. And all of this is falling away. And you're getting, you know, the rainbows here bringing you blessings after a very, very, very challenging experience. So let's pull. And you have a beautiful manifestation. And what this manifestation is, is truly different for each and every one of you. Okay, because right now on your journey, what is a blessing will be different for all of you because you're all facing different things but this is spirit's promise that something is coming that's going to change this all the manifestation okay a great future a great future is for you. Don't be disappointed. So don't be disappointed in the now. There is a very beautiful future ahead. You will be very popular. Take advantage. So there is going to come a point where um, you're going to have a lot of connection, a lot of love, a lot of support around you once again. You have big ideas which you must carry out and some of you have been in the process of that and that's what this is talking about and um, you've had to face so many challenges and setbacks along the way but you are about to cross the finish line you are getting this big beautiful manifestation heartaches and troubles before real success look at that so see this journey as hard and painful as it's been Scorpio it's been preparing you for something much bigger and greater up ahead okay and wish answer is yes and we already knew that like something is coming in something is manifesting for you here Shake it off. If you fall and others jeer, just shake it off and walk with cheer. It's all starting to turn around for you, Scorpio. And Spirit wanted you to know that. It begins the second half of June along with um, the grand alignment between all the planets, at least the way it appears in the sky from um, our perception here on Earth. 
they're all going to be in a row. All right, so those are your messages, Scorpio. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.